So when it comes to rendering this out, we've already pre-installed the uh, package manager, the Unity renderer or recorder rather. So I can right click here on the timeline, Unity editor recorder timeline and go to record a track. Once that is opened up here, I can right click on the timeline and go to add recorder clip. I'm going to just move it and make sure that it is the same length as ours. Um, and also on that timeline, you can hit the little gear change it to seconds if you make it easy if it makes it a bit easier and let's just shorten this so it's five seconds like so and then what I'm going to do is in my recorder clip selected over in my inspector I'm going to come over and make sure that it's a movie mp4 I'm going to change my destination to my desktop and then Take number one, that's fine. Capture the game view, yes. Output resolution, This bear this in mind. So at the moment, if I've got it as match window size, that's okay. I've got no audio, so I can turn that off. Quality is high. Let's just render that out. And to render that, all I need to do is literally just hit play. It will do its thing, and it's pretty quick. Stop. And then I can just open up that render from my desktop. It's done it, but you'll see the quality is actually pretty poor. So let's just close that down and I'm going to change my output resolution and I can do to full HD, I can go to 4K, whatever. So even if I go right up to 4K and I'm going to keep my aspect ratio at 16 to 9, I am going to render that out again. And you can say it takes a little bit longer, but it's still not too long at all. Stop that. And you can see that it is a much clearer image. But you'll notice that some of the lighting on that is a bit dodgy. If we just oops, pause that for a second. The lighting here is all kind of off and a bit dodge. So let's just close that for a moment and come into our lighting settings. And I'm just going to turn off my baked lighting, lighting, come down to the bottom and just click my auto generate and then hit play again. About the same amount of time. But now we've got our scene with no dodgy shadows looking nice and crisp. So that is how we render out our videos. Pretty simple. Next what I'll do is I'll go over how we can have maybe some more complex cameras in here. We're going to use a dolly track, so instead of machine, we're going to use a dolly and camera track and also be bringing in some animation things on there. But right initially you can just bring in two cameras, blend them together and you've got some form of fly through.